Hello, I wanted to make a, a video about the uh, common misconceptions that I've been hearing um, about Runes of Magic pricing scheme as compared to World of Warcrafts. Um, Runes of Magic is a free-to-play MMO and uh, it's drawn a lot of comparisons to, to World of Warcraft which I won't get into uh, other than some, some uh, way to compare the pricing schemes between the two. Uh, because Runes of Magic is a free-to-play MMO, a lot of people think that everything about it is going to be free. But uh, obviously the developers need to get paid, and so the way they do that is an item shop where you purchase uh, perks for the game. Uh, things that make the game easier to play, easier to, you know, to get into the game, but not necessarily things you need to play. Okay? Now, uh, whenever the free-to-play aspect comes up in Runes of Magic. Invariably, there's going to be a World of Warcraft player that says, oh, but you need to buy the bag spaces, and you need to buy the bank slots, and you need to buy your mount, and all this you know, requires real-world money. Now, the misconception here is that in WoW, you're not buying it, all of that, which, strictly speaking, you're not. You're actually paying for a subscription, but let me show you. This is a brand new character that I made, and here's her backpack, and she has 16 total slots, 1-6 total slots. Down here are slots for four more bags. Um, these bags you have to purchase with in-game currency that you have to earn through playing, and um, they don't add a lot. I think the, the first bags are either 8 or 10 slots, um, which means you get anywhere between, say, 40 to 50 almost close to 60 bag slots for the lowest bags. Then, as you progress, you can buy more and more expensive bags and eventually you can get higher up. But the point I want to draw here and why I'm making this portion of the video in WoW with this newbie character, you know, right here, is the fact that you start off with 16 total slots, no extra bags. So let me hop over to, you know, my level 80 character and show you the other end of the spectrum for WoW. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here I am on my level 80 mage, and uh, this is what her her bag space looks like. I'm using a an add-on that crams it all into one. Uh, she's got the, let me open it up here, here's the initial 16, and then she's got four 20-slot bags. That gives her a total of 96 slots. In her bank, over here, um, I'm not going to add this up, but uh, needless to say, you've got the uh, the base plus a whole bunch of bags in here. It's quite a bit of space down here, but like I said, it takes a while to to get up to this level and to be able to purchase these level 20 bags or to produce them. Um, they're not exactly cheap. Well, they're cheap for a level 80 character, but that's a couple weeks, maybe a month or two play for your, your first level 80 character. Um, so the point I'm making here with this portion of the video is that in World of Warcraft you don't start off with massive amount of bag space. Part of the game, part of the design, is that uh, you get an ever increasing amount of bag space as you level up. Okay, that leveling up takes time. That time is uh, time you have to pay for with your subscription fees. So let me hop over to uh, Runes of Magic now and show you what uh, a beginning character in Runes of Magic looks like, uh, bag space wise, and also explain the pricing scheme there. Okay, here we're looking at about my uh, my week, week and a half old main on uh, Runes of Magic. I'm not starting with a newbie character because uh, the effect is basically the same, except here I get to show you everything that you get for free after you complete all the newbie quests. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is I pop into her, her backpack here, her bag space, and I'm using 40 of 60. These first two tabs you get for free. Each of them is, uh, is uh, 30 spaces in size. Now these other four tabs are the tabs that you have to purchase. This is the, the portion that uh, a lot of the World of Warcraft players will say, oh, but if you want more bag space, you have to purchase it. That's entirely true. In fact, you have to rent it. It's time limited, and uh, so you, you don't get it permanently. Uh, also, over here, let me uh, open up my bank box, and you'll see I've got about 40 spaces here, 
and five tabs, only one of which is active. So a newbie character has 60 slots over here in the bag and 40 in the bank. Okay, I don't remember how much a newbie character in WoW gets in the bank, but uh, that's kind of immaterial to my point here. 60 slots for a newbie character versus 16. Already, right here, you've, you've far exceeded what a newbie character in WoW has. It's not that you have to buy these slots, they're already there. Now granted, if you want more beyond that, you've got to purchase it. But this one tab gets you to 90 slots, and remember, my level 80 character was at 96. So to get a comparable amount of bag slots, you have to purchase, or rent, I should say, one extra tab. How much does that cost? This is where it gets interesting, and this is why I'm making this comparison. 180 days is 110 diamonds. Diamonds is the uh, the in-game currency. It's uh, you purchase diamonds with real money, and uh, then you purchase the items with the diamonds. Uh, how much they cost in terms of real-world money depends on how many you buy at one time. Personally, I bought a bulk a bulk purchase of 500 diamonds for $21. Comes out to just about four cents a diamond, which means for half a year for one tab, I'm spending about four dollars and forty cents for half a year to get the same comparable bag space as my uh, level 80 in World of Warcraft that took you know a, a good month or two the f my first level 80 to get up that high to get comparable bag space now while I was charging fifteen dollars a month already you can see that uh, 440 versus fifteen dollars it's cheaper now if we decided that we wanted all of these opened up, if I wanted to open every single one of these, how many slots would I get? 180. I'm getting essentially double what I would in WoW in bag space, which you, j you just can't get that far in World of Warcraft. On top of that, it would cost me, along with a mount and all of the bag spaces here, all the bank spaces, a grand total of $38.08, or uh, I'm sorry, $38.80 for six months. And that mount is a permanent mount. Um, after that six months, once I purchase the next six months, that drops down to about 30 bucks. So 30 bucks, $60 a year. 30, 30 bucks for six months. Okay? Now, how much is WoW costing at the same time? Now, I'm drawing this comparison because, again, the WoW players are saying, oh, I've got to purchase the bag space and the bank space. WoW, in the same amount of time, for six months, is $90. Three times as much as Runes of Magic. Now, is this free for play? Yes, it is. You do not need these, these bag spaces. You do not need the mount to play this game. 60 slots, while not the maximum of World of Warcraft, is entirely doable. A lot of people who played World of Warcraft would know that. People who played Runes of Magic would know that. So, like I said, this is for the perks. Now the question is, is the cost for these perks reasonable? And that's why I'm drawing this comparison with World of Warcraft. Uh, World of Warcraft's pricing. It's one-third the pricing of World of Warcraft's uh, unlimited play. You get unlimited play here. Um, over the course of a year, you'll spend $60 here. You'll spend 180 in World of Warcraft. I think it's reasonable that you would get more spaces and spend less. I'm, that's why I'm saying there's a misconception with World of Warcraft players that they think it's expensive because, oh, it's micro, micro payments, but they haven't done the math. And uh, that's, that's just the whole point of my video right there is when you come down to it, it really is pretty reasonable. Anyway, that's it. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Do rate if you hate it or love it. It lets me know, uh, you know if I'm doing okay or not. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more of these out in the future for you. Thanks. Bye.